जय भारत टू ऑल स्टूडेंट इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट व्हाट इज मैथमेटिकल इंडक्शन एंड हाउ टू सॉल्व थियरम और लेट्स से मैथमेटिकल फॉर्मूला यूजिंग द मैथमेटिकल इंडक्शन मेथड ओके इन मैथमेटिकल इंडक्शन देर आर बेसिकली टू स्टेप फर्स्ट इज बेस स्टेप बेस स्टेप एंड सेकेंड इज इंडक्टिव स्टेप ओके फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इन बेस केस वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट वेदर इट इज ट्रू फॉर द फर्स्ट स्टेप नंबर फर्स्ट इंटीजर ओके देन इन इंडक्टिव स्टेप वी हैव टू assume that if it is a true for k value then we have to find out about that it is also true for the k plus 1 value then we can say that our mathematical formula or problem it is a true for the all the natural number for all even number okay so in last lecture we also discussed uh, i think uh, we have solved three problem and i have given one problem in sm okay. so now in this lecture also we study we will study about different types of problem and how to solve this type of problem and how to find out the whether it is true or not with the help of mathematical induction we will see in this uh, problem like some how difficult than previous lecture okay so let's start with the question okay prove using mathematical induction that for all here n is greater than or equal to 1 that 1 4 7 plus here 3n minus 2 is equal to n bracket 3n minus 1 divided by 2 we have to prove that this is a true okay with the help of mathematical induction so let's start with our first base case okay so what is the value of uh, first integer here here it, it's a greater than or equal to so we can assume it is a first value is a 1 so if it is a true or not 1 is equal to we will put Here n is equal to one, so we will get one three minus one divided by two. So this is true. One is equal to one. Base case is a true. So now let's say second step. Say p of k. It is true. Suppose p of k is a two, so we can say that one four seven plus three k minus two is equal to k bracket three k minus one is divided by two. This is true. Suppose this is true. So we have to show that p of k plus one is also true. Then we can say that this whole statement is a true. So now let's uh, put k is equal to k plus one. Okay, one plus four seven three k plus one minus two is equal to k plus one three. K plus one minus one divided by two. We have to show that this statement is true. So there are two method. If uh, you can use uh, say, let's say left hand side, and try to with the help of addition, multiplication. Okay, you can in last say LHS is equal to RHS. Or you can also like this statement and compare this both. LHS and RHS first of all, then neg uh, neglect both are so those both are common, okay, and then you can say that both are the same value. K plus one is equal to K plus one, like anything you can write, okay. So this is two method. Here we write like uh, first of all we say let's start with the LHS, okay. Here we have also this is a three k plus one, so we can uh, say that its immediate uh, first number is also k, 
okay it is also can we can write like this k plus 3 k plus 1 okay here in infinity also below k plus 1 it is a k obviously okay so we have uh, value of this number here we can this is a okay this k value 3k minus 2 okay what is the value of k upon k into 3k minus 1 divided by 2 and this is also let's say we can say that 3 into k plus 1 so we can say that this is a value of 3k plus 1 plus 3 minus 2 so here we get okay let's say now simple mathematical okay here 2 with multiply with 3k plus 1 so all divided by 2 here with multiplication in bracket 3k square minus k plus 2 into 3 6k plus 2 so we will get 3k square plus 5k plus 2 so uh, you all know how to transfer this linear equation into this formula or multiplication okay so how do we get you uh, you already studied this linear equation in 8 9 or and 10 standard okay so here 3 into 3 6 we have to make part of 6 that it's get the 5 so we can say 3 plus 2 so we make part like this 3 into 3k square plus 3k plus 2k plus 2 now make pair and take common of something so we here we have 3k in bracket k plus 1 plus here we have common as a 2 and k plus 1 now here you can see that we have both common k plus 1 we get the common out as a k plus 1 plus uh, bracket 3k plus 2 okay so here you can get the k plus 1 3k plus 2 okay uh, now we have to write like this so also this is also 3k plus 1 okay so make like this 3 bracket k plus 1 minus 1 so you can see that here lhs is equal to rhs so this is the here both step are true so we can say that this statement is a true okay simple now let's next question this is a different one uh, it is not include series okay uh, till now we have already uh, discussed about only about series problem okay 1 plus 4 plus 7 1 plus 2 plus 3 uh, 1 square 2 square okay but this is different one use the principle of mathematical induction to verify that for n any positive integer 6 raised to n minus 1 is divisible by 5 okay so here you can see that with the help of mathematical induction we can also verify whether it is a divisible by something number or not let's say here we can say 7 raised to 2a minus 5 raised to n this is a some uh, formula okay so now we have to find whether it's divisible by 7 or not okay so with the help of mathematical induction we can also find out about it, okay so uh, mathematical induction is not only for series okay this mathematical statement also we can verify that this is a divisible 5 or this is divisible 2 3 4 any number okay so let's start so uh, first of all base case we have to find out uh, here you can see that any positive integer so first number is a 1 so let's say n is equal to 1 6 minus 1 is equal to 5 so we can say that 5 is divisible by 5 5 so first case is a true now suppose p of k is true let's say 6 raised to k minus 1 is a divisible by 5 okay this is true suppose so we have to find out true that p of k 
plus 1 is also true that 6 raised to k plus 1 minus 1 is also divisible by 5 okay so let's say first of all lhs 6 raised to k plus 1 now with uh, some help we have to transfer this into 6 raised to k minus 1 so that we can say that this is divisible by 5 okay so if you given any problem and you have to use mathematical induction in step 2 so what will you do you have to make sure that this you have to transfer this second step k plus 1 step into first 6 raised to uh, k step okay which we already know that this is a true so you have to transfer this into this method so we can say that this is a divisible by 5 okay <coughs> so let's start make with this uh, 6 raised to k plus 1 into this format 6 raised to k minus 1 so first of all what we will do we will uh, break this to 6 and transfer in 6 into 6 k plus 6 k okay this is a base is a same so we can say that this is a 6 k plus 1 also okay so we will break this into 6 into 6 raised to k minus 1 okay so now uh, what we have to make this 6 to k like this so what we will do we will break it in minus 1 so we will have to addition 6 okay here it is a in bracket okay so what we will do 6 6 raised to k minus 6 and plus 6 okay here common will get 6 so we will get 6 raised to k minus 1 plus uh, sorry here minus 1 is also there minus 1 so we will get 5 okay so here we have 6 into 6 raised to k minus 1 plus 5 now you uh, we already know that this is uh, divisible by 5 this is a uh, divisible by 5 so we can say that if it is a 6 into divisible by 5 5 is true so also with multiplication with uh, 6 it's not uh, effective okay so this statement is divisible by 5 here you can also see that this second plus Pi is also divisible by pi, so we can say that this all is also divisible by pi. So k plus one is also true. Okay. Here, if you confuse uh, uh, about this first case, how does this is uh, divisible by pi? So let's say example. If it uh, six. If it uh, let's say multiplication of 5, this is divisible by 5. So here you can say 5, 6, uh, 25, also 6 into uh, 125, okay, anything, okay. So it is if it divisible by 5, then it will not affect here it is a 6 or 7 or anything number, okay. It's because this is a multiplication. If 1 is a, uh, divisible by 5, then also this multi all the multiplication will will be divisible by 2 okay so this uh, example is a simple but it is a different kind other than series okay so in exam also uh, these types of question will be asked in university theory exam okay now let's start with some uh, difficult uh, exam example okay here n greater than or equal to 1 the sum of the square of the first 2n here you can see that this is a first 2n integer in question they have write first 2n positive integer and this is also a uh, given example okay now first base case okay so what is the first value we can say that n is equal to 1 but here you have uh, in exam they have said first 2n positive so we can write first 2 
into one at the first two positive integer so what is this uh, in here this uh, statement now first two integer means this okay so we have to take one and plus two both same okay get the idea here in question in uh, let's say previous example uh, okay for n any positive okay here only have n so that we can write like n is equal to 1 but here they have first two n it is a pair 1 plus 2 3 plus 4 4 plus 6 like this 2n okay first 2n positive integer number it is a pair so also we have to in base case we have to take first two integer number okay first two positive integer number so do not confuse it uh, and take uh, n is equal to 1 and say this statement is false for the base case so this whole statement is false okay it's a bit of confusing in the question okay first two n positive you have to take first two positive integer okay if you put n is equal to 1 so write uh, read this question first two positive integer so here first two positive integer and make this statement and you can say that this will become phi so phi is equal to phi so first statement is a two first is a two now second step suppose p of k is true so we can say that one plus one square plus two square plus three square plus up to two k square is equal to this is your true okay <coughs> now we have to show that p k plus one is also true like this and put uh, k is equal to k plus one we have to show that this is a true also like uh, previously first question i have told that you can write uh, both lhs is equal to rhs and solve both linearly and cancel out those who are same and you can say that this is both are true or also you can write uh, only lhs then with the help of addition multiplication you can get the answer as a left hand side okay and then you can prove lhs is equal to rhs both are the true and you can use any of the method okay okay uh, now here in previous exam we have like uh, if you want to make this step useful so we have to make this step and put this value instead okay so how do we do here as i said earlier this is a first two positive so this will act as a pair okay so if you want to write one square plus two square plus a square into 2k square here you can say that this is a 2k plus 2 we have also after 2k we have to make 2k plus 1 square then we will get 2k plus 2 okay you can get the idea because why because two integer are in pair 2n positive integer okay so this wall will become 1 plus 2 square plus 3 square plus 2k plus 2k plus 1 plus 2k plus 2 here okay we can write like this in infinity uh, just before this number 2k and 2k plus 1 okay so now uh, we have already have this 1 plus square plus 2k have this value which we told that this is a true so we will put this value k into 2k plus 1 4k plus 1 divided by 3 and this is here it is same okay let's say 3 multiplication with 3 so we will get <coughs> 3 3 and divisible by 3 and ball will become 3 okay now 
make multiplication this two will bracket will make a 8k square plus 6k plus 1 and k will remain same here also a 2k plus 1 whole square like this a plus b whole square will become a square plus 2ab plus b square okay so this will become 4k square plus 4k plus 1 here also 2k plus 2 we can say that 4k square plus 8k plus 4 and then we multiply with k here 3 and here 3 also 3 okay so and make addition of uh, possible addition q which is a 1 8k k square is a 6 12 and 12 so that will make 30 here k is a 1k 12k and 24k so this will become 37k and 3 plus 12 is 15 and divided by 3 so here you can say that we no, do not convert this form into left hand side form this is a left hand side we have to find out this so what we will do we make this uh, take as a left hand side and we will transfer this into this form and then we can say that lhs is equal to rhs so let's take k plus 1 2k plus 1 4k plus 1 plus 1 divided by 3 okay now multiplication with this k plus 1 2k plus 2 plus 1 and this also 4k plus 4 plus 1 okay so what we will get k plus 1 2k plus 3 and 4k plus 5 now make this two bracket k plus uh, k into 2k and k into 3 so this multiplication will become 2k square plus 5k plus 3 and then also make this two bracket uh, multiplication of this two bracket so we will get 8k cube 30k square plus 37k plus 15 divided by 3 which is the same as we will got in the left hand side okay so we can say that p of k plus 1 is also true so both step are true so we can say that this is statement is also true so this is a quite a bit of difficult exam but you can get the idea of how to solve these types of example with the help of mathematical indices simple in second step you have to make sure that uh, k plus one statement you have to become this statement and make this into this statement first statement k of p of k statement so that you can use this statement okay so you get the answer after some mathematical process okay so now this is your assignment question it's a uh, 1 plus 2 plus 2 square plus here 2 raised to n minus 1 n minus 1 is equal to 2 raised to n minus 1 it's not in power okay so you have to solve this question okay here you can say that this is also you can write like this 2 raised to 0 plus 2 raised to 1 plus 2 raised to 2 plus 2 raised to n minus 1 also this is the same okay here uh, n is equal to 1 if you write n is equal to 1 then 2 raised to 0 that will become 1 okay so with the help of mathematical induction you have to prove that this equation is a true okay now today's lecture is completed